at my window Skies turn gray Northern winds blow Through this old frame Well, if that brought back memories of big fields, farmland maybe, well, yeah, that's the music of Joe Vickers, and we have him right here at our Shaw TV studios. Welcome, Joe and Pat, to Winnipeg. I know it's a little bit of a whiteout, but you know, it's all about the wood burning stove, correct? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, but there's a good buzz in the city right now. I know, like the I jets know. are doing well, and I'm behind them. I, I, uh, I'm rooting for the Canadian teams. All right. Now let's talk about the new album and touring. I mean, the song uh, definitely takes me to the prairies, to the farmland. So that is very true to your heart. Yeah. Uh, I spend half the year on my family's farm and I when I'm back on the farm I live in the original farmstead home that my great-grandfather uh, uh, brought to the farm and um, right in the kitchen there's this old coal wood-burning stove uh, that is right behind the kitchen table and I do a lot of writing in the kitchen um, it's just sort of my uh, comfortable writing zone but I'll be honest for every song off this new record there's about three or four that were thrown over my shoulder and tossed into the stove. Um, that's what I thought yeah it was a good way of have the waste paper basket right? That's right and uh, there's something like therapeutic and cathartic about even just getting rid of stuff yeah, creating stuff and just getting rid of it whether it's good or bad it's mm -hmm. uh, I think kind of like that um, myself realizing that I always want to be um, progressing to be the the best version of myself and sometimes you gotta you gotta shed old skin and you know get rid of old stuff that's kind of uh, getting in your way well I think one person that's not getting in your way and is helping you is this guy here Pat now the mandolin is beautiful but how did you get hooked up here with this guy well it's a strange story uh, I was uh, just standing outside my apartment and I saw uh, Joe walking uh, down the sidewalk, actually across the street. Um, so I started yelling at him. He was carrying a guitar case. I'm like, hey you over there, what do you got in that case and where are you going and what kind of music are you into? And um, Joe, being the type of person that likes to share his music, he just gave me a CD and said, here, check it out and we'll see you later. And I found myself uh, in tears at the end of one of the songs, sitting home alone, and uh, I knew that I wanted to, uh, you know, get to know him a little better and, and the music as well. Wow, you know what, that's such a, I think music, again, brings people together, and uh, I guess now, music has all, all changed, Joe, so how do you keep the persona farm guy and then music guy separate? Yeah, I, I think, there's so many different genres of music out there, like mm -hmm. um, if that's what you're saying, like in yeah. terms of music changing and progressing. But uh, the stuff we're playing is, uh, it, it's, it's, I think it's roots music and um, it's three or four chords and it, we're not reinventing the wheel when it comes to the musicality, but um, I, I feel like uh, that ability to relate through the oral tradition, storytelling, and in folk music, that's ever present. And um, I think that, well, that's all we're trying to do. You know, music is our, our main form of expression and kind of using an old formula to stay connected with people. And Pat's uh, story alone of us uh, meeting up, I think, is uh, a good example of how music keeps us together. And the songs that we're playing and singing and, and uh, the reason why we're out here on tour is to just make uh, immediate friendships and connections with, with, uh, with new listeners. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an, it's an awesome way. And for you now, Pat, what's it like? Did you ever think that you'd be up in front of people playing music? And what is it like for you when you get up on stage? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. And um, I think we click together, you know, um, musically. Um, we've been playing together for a while now. But the music, I think, connected with me first. Mm -hmm. And then I, I decided I wanted to pick up my mandolin and kind of play along with the CD. <laughs> and uh, that's sort of where it started. And you know, we realized that we both have uh, a lot of history in the Drumheller Valley. And mm -hmm. you know, it's interesting to wonder what type of interactions maybe our great-grandparents and stuff may have had you know, 90 or 100 years ago in the same town. And oh. 
we just ran into each other on the street and You're now we're picking and grinning. <laughs> Well, you know what, and when you do go back home, you know, things slow down for you, but I mean, obviously work at the farm, but does everything come around full circle for you after? I mean, you're on tour, you're a little bit of a rock star or whatever, people want to talk to you and appreciate your music. Mm -hmm. so. um, well, I don't know about the, the rock star oh. thing, but uh, uh, no, you're, you're so right. Like, um, the two lifestyles are polar opposites. Um, on tour, um, it's very social and you're in the company of people all the time, which I love because I feel like I grow as a person through the interactions I make with others, mm -hmm. learning about their stories and, um, you know, uh, shedding or, or having people um, broaden my worldview with certain insights that they can uh, bring to me. And in turn, I, I, I find that um, being on the farm uh, allows me time to uh, find solitude and um, to kind of res kind of refresh myself um, and be able to work on on myself because we need to allow ourselves moments of of uh, uh, of loneliness to be able to kind of reflect on where we're at or the people that we are and farming allows great opportunity for that I spend a lot of time in either a big tractor or um, in a truck and uh, the boredom also allows me to to write songs so uh, I have to be alone to write songs and so the farming lifestyle allows for that. And then when, it, when uh, all the grain is in the bin and the machinery is parked, it's time to go take those songs to, uh, to the stage. Yeah, join your friend here, Pat. Well, thank you so much, Joe and Pat. You know what? Listen to the music, joevickersmusic.com, and I tell you, it'll put you at peace and make you think a little bit on where you're heading in life. For Shaw TV, I'm Tracy Koga. Oh.